This is a message the Lord gave to me about a man of God in Nigeria who God told me he is going to expose very soon. He warned me not to mention his name and he told me why I must not mention his name. But I'm going to try to describe him. Those people who know him, they will know that this is a person I am describing. He has churches all over the world. He performs miracles. He does healing. He's a great teacher of the world. But inwardly, he's a wolf in sheep clothing. Why the Lord is giving me this message is to expose him, even though he claims to be a man of God, even though he does miracles, is to expose him because he has some dangerous teachings. He has brought worldliness into the body of Christ. He has influenced a lot of ministers. He's been doing his ministry for decades now. He has influenced a lot of people, and worldliness is thriving, even though he claims to be a man of God. He's mentoring a lot of people, and many people are following him, but if they continue to follow him, they will end up in the lake of fire. This is why the Lord is giving this message, so that when it happens, when he's finally disgraced, people will not say, Satan is attacking the church. It is Jesus Christ who is exposing him for the sake of those who are following him. One of the reasons he told me not to mention his name is because he is going to attack me. He has evil powers and the Lord doesn't want this fight. He is also very powerful, very influential. His followers are going to come after me. But the Lord told me not to mention his name. But as I describe him, as I give out this message, many of you will know sadly who I'm talking about. Now let's go into the message. I want to read. I, the Lord God, will soon expose a man of God in Nigeria. He has led many astray through his teachings and doctrines of devils. I am revealing this because a lot of people shall say it is an attack on the church, but I am the one exposing him so that I can free those under the influence of his false teachings. He has caused worldliness to multiply across the world. Because of his false teachings, many women dressed to please their flesh are not the Lord. Because of his false teachings, Many men have compromised their standards because they look up to him. I, the Lord, will cause his soul to wander among the rocks to teach him that the Lord God Almighty loves his church and has come to intervene. When the wind from outside Nigeria blows into this country, let those who are wise not defend the adulterer an oppressor. Yes, he is an adulterer. He has betrayed the love that he professed to his wife. He lives in sexual immorality and also hides his adulterous life, but I will expose him. Let me just add this. This man is a divorcee. Let's continue to read. He thought he can hide the evidence of his adulterous life, but I have decided to expose him. Then the Lord said to him, You call yourself a teacher of my word, yet you refuse to obey the very word you teach. Then the Lord said to his followers, this is an address to his followers directly, Come out of that church and pursue holiness and righteousness. You have been deceived to believe that God is with him because of the miracles he performs. Then the Holy Spirit said to him, When you claimed to have repented, you did not let go of your evil powers. Instead of letting them go, you acquire more evil powers. You killed your conscience because of fame 
wealth and power. Now, you have all you ever wanted, but you have robbed me of the children who would have obeyed the truth and be saved. You feed them lies through your powerful media networks. You still have time to repent, but if you do not repent, know that I have a special place prepared for you. Your torment shall be unique because your atrocities have reached the heavens. Your hair shall be so troubled that you shall not enjoy the fame. I have enlisted your name among my enemies, except you repent. This shall be an example and a warning to your fellow deceivers who claim to be working for me. I have spoken so that men may hear and know that I am still in charge of my church, that when it comes to pass, they will know also that I did it. Then he said to me, Preserve these words and put them out there for those who care to hear, so that when it comes to pass, they will know that I am interested in the salvation of souls. This is the message the Lord gave to me. He did not tell me when it is going to happen, but he said he will soon be exposed. And the first time I saw this, it was like a wind that blew from another country into Nigeria. It's a news that came out of another country into Nigeria. Let us be watchful. When it happens, by the grace of God, I will let you know and point out some of the things the Lord used to describe him in this message. I'm going to point them out that this is a here. And I mean, the one who is going to inherit his property, his adulterous life, his divorce, I will make everything plain. I think these are key things that cannot be attributed to just any man of God. I remember I said he is very, very popular. He is well known all over the world. Please let us value the salvation of our souls. The gospel of Jesus Christ is very, very simple. But these people have brought in prosperity gospel, they have brought in false teachings, they have eliminated holiness and righteousness, they have turned water into the laws of God to make Christianity look more attractive, but they have removed the essence which is the salvation of souls. And they have made it a lucrative business. The truth is that the way that leads to destruction is very broad. This is one of those who made the way look broad. They make it very, very broad so that it can look attractive, but it is leading to destruction. The way that leads to life is narrow. This is one of those who say it doesn't mean anything. You can wear anything. You can live your life the way you want. Please, let's be watchful. Let us know that Jesus Christ is still very much interested in his church. Please like and comment and subscribe to this channel, Ego Ayopuna, to stay updated. God bless you.